everybody, and welcome to the Doodle Bugs. What's new? Um, what's new today? So, what is new today with you guys? So, it is Tuesday. It is a beautiful day here in Southern Indiana. Finally, after we've had probably like a foot of rain over the past couple weeks, we've got a great day. Actually, we opened the door up. It is that nice here today. So that's been really, really wonderful. Just kind of feels like spring a little bit. I um, know I'm going on a little bit early today, as you've seen. I've got my baseball mom shirt on. So we have an away game today, and it's about an hour away. So and it starts at 6. So I've got to leave here a little before 5 to carpool um, with some friends, some, some baseball parent friends down to watch the Twins play. So super excited about that. So thanks for the eyeballs that are here with me um, since we are going on a little early. Um, what have I got to show you today? So today I got an order from the ink stand. And that is, it's a really small um, like mom and pop shop. Love them. They have phenomenal products. Um, and I've carried them before. So this is a reorder and new stuff. We've got new pink fresh, so that is here. And I'm looking, I think it's like, for what came in so far, it's complete, which never seems to happen anymore with pink fresh. So that is here. And then we've got some great restocks for Simple Stories, um, 49 and Market, a few new things, some great um, Graphic 45 restocks, so just some fun other stuff added as well. And we've already started the table for tomorrow too, which is awesome. Um, and then later on this week, so what is going on at the Doodle Bug this week? So on Friday, for those of you local and not local that want to be a part of our second hand sale, you can start to drop off your items on Friday. And then next week, so you basically have not quite a week to drop off. You have until from Friday, so just in a couple days Friday, until next week Wednesday. Then next week Thursday is our preview sale. So it's an exclusive sale in the evening from, um, I believe, 5.30, I have to look that time up, but pre-sale is next Thursday then, and then regular sale starts on Friday, Saturday, and then half price Sunday and Monday. I did a bonus half price day this time. So we're gonna see, we're gonna see how that goes. I'm just trying to tweak the length of the secondhand sale. So I've been kind of, you know, playing with that a little bit as well. So that is coming up. This weekend is also our spring retreat. We have rented out the banquet room at Santa's Lodge, which is about 20, 25 minutes from the store. So if you're feeling spontaneous and you still want to join us, I did turn in um, my catering numbers and table settings and all that. Can anyone come to the pre sale? I will answer that. Great question. Um, turn that in, but I can squeeze you in. I would love to do that. So Diane's asking, can anyone come to the pre sale? Yes. The only thing that's exclusive about the pre sale is it's not for free to get in. So it is a ten dollar fee to get in, and I donate that. It's not, and it's not like a GoFundMe college fund either. So I um, donate that usually to the Humane Society. And this year, depending on how much we bring in, I may split it between the Humane Society and um, some of the local food banks because I know the food. Bank banks are really hurting um, just because grocery expenses are so high and you know they're high for everyone and so what happens then is people just don't have extra to give and um, so yeah I'm not I'm not for sure so those are those are two you know as a former teacher kids with food insecurities is, is huge and I know that um, we don't often realize that but um, Yes, pay whenever you come. Yep, you just pay $10. I, I like cash for that. So then that way I can just do the donation check that way. Great, great question. Um, but yeah, kids with food insecurities, it's, it's huge. And I know uh, most of us don't get that. But I know like my boys will talk about that and like wanting certain junk food at school during the day uh, and why they don't offer it. And I've talked to them about how a lot of kids, that's the best meal they get all day. Because when they go home, either parents aren't cooking, um, parents aren't home, they're working a second job or that's just their shift. And so they're kind of on their own and, and things like that. So um, yeah, the food banks are really important for, for that reason. I also have a friend who works with the Purdue Extension here. And that's kind of what she does. She works with um, volume going in and out. Well, dang it, I've got my, my little pods on too. So I don't know. Sometimes if you leave and come back in, Melissa, not that I want you to leave, come back, um, but that might work. So anyway, those are that's what I always do with the pre-sale just to kind of answer your question there. I always, always donate that. So let's go ahead and get started though. Okay, so we are 
ink stand. Um, so the ink stand there, well, Melissa, I just got a good click when I switched that around. So hopefully you guys can hear me. I thought maybe my um, little pods were, I try to keep them charged and everything. I've got a good green light. So hopefully, hopefully we're good. All right. So ink stand, let me show you a little bit about these guys here. Now, these here are the square ones and what they do, they are designed to hold your inks while you are stamping, ink blending, whatever, because they have these little feet on the bottom. See those great little grippy feet? So they keep them on your table from moving while you are working, which is awesome. And you can kind of put them side by side here, like so. And then um, I'm going to turn them like this. Okay, because this is how I would probably do it. If I was working with more than one, I would have them this way. So it's easier for me to get to them. There we go. And then that way you put your lid up here so you can see what colors you're working with. Because especially if you're doing a blend of similar colors, you know, like all greens. It, it's really kind of hard to remember which green was which. So then that way you can take your ink blending brush on your work surface. And again, they are nice and sturdy on the table. And I'm pushing really hard. You wouldn't push like that with your little ink blending brush. So these are awesome. And like I said, this is, this is like all they do. So it's not a company that I can just do a quick little reorder from. These guys here that hold your square ones, like your Distress and your Oxides, those are $15.99. These here, the cute little small one, it holds your Distress Mini inks, your Tailored Expressions inks, your little Gina K inks, your little Pink Fresh inks. So you can put a bunch in here. And I also think we have another one. I'm going to pull it from the shelf. I think it's a little bit longer than this. So I love this one. Again, same concept. You're going to do your little minis here and then your lid in the back so you can see exactly which one you are using. This one here is um, Ink Stand Mini. Those are $20.99. Here we go for the Catherine Pooler. So same thing. This is one off the shelf, so I'm not going to take its lid off. Same thing. It's going to hold your ink and then the lid so you can tell the color. This is the Ink Stand Oval, $15.99. And then the new one that just got released, which I am so excited about, is this guy right here. Check it out. Is this not fun? So this is for your little ink blending tools. So, so cute. That way you can put them here while you are working as well. So just kind of fun. Keeps them up and off your work surface so you can find them. And this is a brand new product for them. And these are the, um, the ink stand blending tool stand. And those are $12.99. So just got those in, and again, those are brand, brand new. So super excited about that. Oh, and Melissa's got better sound. Good, good deal. So there's the ink stand. All right. Next up, let's check out our brand new Pink Fresh. So this is not reorder. This is brand new Pink Fresh. So this is their March release. I have um, ordered the April release. It's already in um, and processing, but it has not shipped yet. First up, let's check out. I love kind of their basic shapes. They do such a good job with these. This one here, if you can see, it's got six different pieces. So meaning you can use these dies different ways. So you've got a good outside shape right here, that little outline. And then you can also put with that this little decorative piece there. So it'll cut that kind of um, full-size panel out. Or you could just do that little decorative inside piece and have a really fun um, kind of cut in edge on your card. So, so cool. So this is called Rounded and braided rectangles. I love this one. Love the rounded and the braided. That one there. So here you can kind of see what it's going to look like. And that is with the two dies used together. How beautiful is that? Those are 21 29 
Next up, another one of their kind of just regular dies. This one's really cool. So you know how we love the interactive dies. Um, and I think that each company, as they do them, they get a little bit easier and a little bit easier. This one is an A2 slider card. So you can kind of see here. So you're going to have a slider piece behind. And whenever you pull this up, it's going to move these perforation areas. And I haven't even had a chance to do a sample or anything with this. Um, I, I think that Leslie checks and orders as quick as I can order them, which is both pretty, pretty darn fast. So she got three orders checked in today. And probably when she hears me say this, she's just going to like go, oh but I ordered three orders today. So yeah, she checked them in as fast as I got them placed. So super exciting, but this one here is gonna be a really, really fun, fun die to play around with. And again, it's an A2 slider card, super fun. Next up, we've got some of the ones that you guys love, the stamp stencil die washi tape combination. Cannot wait to show you some of these because I mean, I love them and whenever you do the stencil, you've got all kinds of options and color choices, but wait till you see the colors they use and the washi tape this time. So, so pretty. So this one is called Rainbow Daisies and right there that probably gives away what they did with the washi tape. So Rainbow Daisies, here's all the little stamps for Rainbow Daisies. Now, what do you do with these? Of course, we think automatically, you know, cards, card making, you know, bookmarks, gift tags, but with these, especially with the washi tape, friends that are scrapbookers, these are so perfect for our scrapbookers too, and our scrapbooks too, our mini books. They are so, so fun. So I'm gonna flip this one over so you can see what the images are gonna look like colored. And again, you can stamp these and you can color them with your alcohol markers, your water markers, and then you can cut them out. You've got all these great little die cuts. But if you are not you know, confident in your coloring skills or you just want something much quicker and easier, here is the stencil that matches it. So this has got six different layering stencils in it. And so it's going to color in all of these little guys. And of course, since there's different kind of rainbowed looked, depending on what colors you choose, it's going to rainbow those as well. But this would still be pretty, especially as you're going through, you could kind of figure out, you know, um, since a one, two, three, four, let me see here, one, two, three, four, five, and then I bet the green is six. So you could do like, blue and teal, blue and teal, blue. And so then that way you could figure out if you only wanted to do two or three colors, you wouldn't have to do the whole rainbow of colors. So there is the stencil and here is the washi tape. Can you see, there we go. Can you see that? Love the rainbow on the washi tape. So, so pretty. So again, that is rainbow daisies. Next set we have is Artistic Dahlia. So here is your stamp. This one is so pretty too. Um, sentiments, what's in here? May all your wishes come true. You amaze me. So lucky to call you my friend and always here for you. So we've got stamp, die, stencil. There's your stencil right there, so you can kind of see how that one is going to work. This is a six-piece stencil, so you're going to have one, two with the two different pinks, three, four with the two different purples, and five, six with the two colors of green there for the leaves. So that's going to be, you know, not a hard one to stencil either. So that's going to be a really pretty one. And then kind of to show you the back here on that one, basically the same image, but then there's the die and then check out the flowers here in the washi tape. So this does have the foiling. I think almost all the new ones now have the foiling, which is so pretty because of that nice little outline edge and a great little pop right there. So again, this one here is the Artistic Dahlia. Next one, this one is called a Tube Rose. 
and I'm so done with my flowers. So excuse me if I say anything wrong. I know daisies and tulips, gladiolas, because those are one of my favorites, and calla lilies, and that's about it. I am not a flower person. I have a black thumb, not a green thumb by any means. And so I think that is kind of why I just, I automatically kill things. I'm so excited because when I bought my house three, almost three years ago now, the previous homeowner um, gifted me three plants. I think she did not want to leave them. And I apologized to those plants when I moved in because I told them they probably weren't going to make it. And they are still with me three years later. So I don't know if that means my boys are secretly keeping them alive or what. Um, anyway, so we've got great little bunches of flowers here. This is such a cute one. Um, sentiments. I like the font on this one too. Think of this as a hug. Oh, that's a cute sentiment. Feel better soon. Sending good thoughts. And you are so loved. So great sentiments in that one. We flip it over. You can kind of get an idea of how it's going to look when it's colored. Here's the die that matches it. And then the stencils right there. And then the washing. Washi is using the same colors you're seeing here. It's got pink and purple, and then the gold foiling in there as well. So pretty. So this is the two bros. And then last one that came in as magnolia. Well, I bet this one's going to be beautiful. I, I do like magnolias. So you've got your stamp here for magnolia. Sentiments, you've got be kind to yourself. It's a great day for a great day. You are so sweet, and I'll always be here for you, friend. So really good sentiments in there. And then when I flip it over, oh, really cute. Sometimes it's just better to flip it over so you can actually envision what it's going to look like. But boy, this would be really pretty in purples as well. I like that one a lot. Okay, so that is your stamp die. Stencil is here as well. There's your stencil. Stencil is four different pieces. And then here, oh, nope, that goes with that guy. This one here is your washing. Now, do any of you need to see a sample kind of of what this actually I don't have these because they're brand new, but I've got some older ones. So I don't know if this is a new product for anybody watching. I didn't even think to pull an old sample over. So if anyone watching is kind of like, I have no, these look kind of cool, but I have no idea what she's talking about with the stamp stencil dye, washi, what, what she means by that. So if we need a sample, I can walk over to the wall in a minute and show you guys that. So just let me know if this is the first time anyone has ever seen this stuff. And then I will walk over to the wall and show you some samples that we've got over there. All right. So that is the main new order. So that was a new order from Pink Fresh, new order from the ink stand. And then we've got an order from the warehouse. So new stuff and restocks. So restocks, We've got the white jelly roll, and this is, yes, please. Okay, so perfect, Miss Cindy. I will, once we see this new stuff, then I will walk over there at the end and show you guys those. So this is a new jelly roll set, and it's in three different points. We've got fine, medium, and bold. So they're all white gel pens, but you've got all three points in here. I know this is one um, that Rita told me to get in for the Copic classes because whenever you're coloring and things like that, um, that way you can add in those little white highlights very easily. And with a jelly roll, because they are raised and kind of shiny, it really does look like light hitting your images. So jelly rolls are in. Got these in the other day, but they sold out quickly. And it was, um, it, this is a sticker we just haven't had in for a long time. So it was kind of new. And this is our hunting sticker. So those are back in stock. We recently around here in our area, we had a choir group take a trip to New York over spring break. And so I've had a few moms requesting New York stuff. So this one here is a little multi-pack. There's the first layer. Here is the second layer. If I can get that to show. Both of these are chipboard layers. And then this is just a sticker layer. So New York sticker. Here is another New York sticker with those graphic 45 
flowers that you guys love. These can be glued down at just flat, or you can shape them with some of your flower tools, your styluses, give them some great definition. This is the shades of yellow and orange. Dress My Crafts non-stick craft mat in thick. This is one that finally has made it to the shelf. I can get it open here. It's taped up. I'll get that one open. Um, next up is the Arranger Heat It tool. Um, I've told you guys before, this one will emboss. It is not my favorite one for embossing, but I love it for drying things, um, speeding up mixed media. If I'm stamping a card and want to layer my inks or I want to color right away, this is perfect for that. And also, this one is a really quiet embossing gun. Will it emboss? Yes, it will. It just takes a little bit longer, I find, with this one. So it's not my favorite one for heat embossing, but it is an amazing little craft tool. So got that one back in stock. One of the newer Ranger colors, Crackling Campfire. We ran out of that one in the Oxide. So that one is back in stock. Uh, just a restock on our Tombow 3-pack. Now, friends, these are refills. So I know sometimes they'll get bought thinking they are three starters or all three. These are, these are not. This is only half of the tape runner. You need to buy the other half, and it comes all kind of on its own. But that is a refill pack. Here is that craft mat now. And this is the thick one. I like how thick this one is, so it's not as apt to wrinkle and crinkle on you and I also really like the price tag 13 bucks so that is amazing for a craft mat and it is 15 by 18 so it's a decent size so it's not like it's a little 12 by 12 one and that's why it's so cheap so that's an awesome one art glitter glue is restocked so this is the four ounce is restocked on the shelf as well as the eight ounce. The eight ounce, notice, does not come with a lid on it. So you can either put a lid on it or you can use this one as a refill. And these are the dry clear ones. This is new from Nuvo and Tonic. So this is just a good little stamp cleaning cloth. Going to be very similar to like stamp chamois, things like that. So it's going to be a cloth that you wet. And then you can use that to clean your stamps off. So you don't have to um, spray it with any cleaner or anything like that. You're just going to run it under water. Now, if you are using um, kind of a heavier duty or ink, you can actually put a cleaning solution on here, though. So that's kind of cool with this one. You can put a cleaning solution on here or spray the cleaning solution directly to your stamps and then use this to wipe it off. And then when it gets really, really gross, what's really nice about this one is that you can actually run this one through the washer. For easy maintenance, just machine wash on low, um, and then it says on low heat, oh, and then air dry. So yeah, you don't want to put it in the dryer, but you can wash this as well. So that is kind of nice. I know Gina K's, you can also run through the washer as well. <coughs> I don't know if you can, the stamp chamois from Lawn Fawn. Next up, 49 and Market. We had a group come in the other day and they loved the film strips, kind of wiped out the film strip section, which was great. And so I restocked and got a few new colors. So Sage was new for us. I had not ordered in Sage before. So Sage is a new color. So if you've been buying your film strips here, you have not gotten Sage yet. So Sage is a new one. Lagoon is a restock. Lagoon is probably our fastest seller. Anything kind of teal just sells amazingly well, which is also why I cannot wait for the new ocean to come in from 49 and Market because it is a beautiful aqua teal color. So there's Lagoon and then also Eggplant. Eggplant has been a good seller as well for us. So there are those. Uh, next up, this is a restock. This is the interactive folio from Graphic 45. And I did open up one of these a while back, but this is the one that has all, of course, has all kinds of glare. This is the one that has all these different little interchangeable pieces. So you can glue them in in different orders, different configurations, and where you want in the book. But they are already pre-cut, pre-scored, just ready for you to mount in there. 
So that's a fun one. Undo is back in stock. I've talked about undo before. So undo is one of those items that you're not going to use all the time, kind of like your sand eraser or a glue eraser, but you definitely want it in your stash. I'm grabbing my, my water here. Um, you want it in your stash because it takes off the sticky on your sticker. So if you put a sticker somewhere where you don't want it, okay, this is going to for a moment, neutralize the adhesive. You can peel it up, pull it back up, and then it doesn't lose its sticky. It just neutralizes it. So you can actually still use it, but you're also going to save your paper as well too. I've used it to get old photos out of those old magnetic albums. I have used it um, when I'm giving gifts and the price tag, that sticker tag will not come off. I've used it for that. Um, and I haven't used it for this before, but it also says it removes wax from the carpet and gum from the carpet. Knock on wood, I'm glad I haven't had to use it for that. But that probably means I will go home tonight and find gum somewhere in my house that the boys left out and then Phoebe, the dog, got a hold of and has spit out somewhere. So that's probably what's going to happen to me. And then I'll let you know how it goes. So undo back in stock. This came in as a special order, but I can get more for you. This is Dress My Crafts Soft Floral Oriental Collection. What is really cool about this paper is that you kind of mist it, mold it for your flowers, and when it dries again, it becomes much harder than what it was. And so it, it gives that flower that you've shaped much more stability. So this stuff is stinking, stinking cool. So again, this came in as a special order, but we can get more in. So if you are one that likes to make your own flowers, this would be a great paper for you. Uh, card stock, or I'm sorry, card kits back in stock wildflower card kit. I think we finally got this one to go out on the shelf. Every single ones we've gotten in so far, they have sold through. So right, kind of going through here. You can see those. It's going to make eight different cards. There we go. And then the other one is the My Story Kit. It is also going to make eight cards. Here we go. Hold it a little better. Now, this is the kit that is probably a little more popular than the Photo Play card kits, only because everything on these is already um, pre-cut. You just have to punch it out. So they do like little die-cut sheets. Whereas photo play, you've just got to cut your layers apart, which is not hard by any means, but these are a little quicker and easier. So this is one that's really great if you have someone or, or if you yourself have any kind of um, hand issues and the where using a scissors is hard for you, or if you've got a younger crafter, using a paper trimmer is hard for them. I've got one gal that comes in and she has a friend who's had a couple strokes and she loves to craft. And so definitely with her strokes, that is one thing she thought she was going to have to give up. And it's just, oh, I hate that, you know, when we, you know, lose little pieces of ourself. So these are wonderful for her. She loves putting them together because she's able to still do a craft that she loves. So these are super, super fun. So again, Wildflower and My Story. This one here came in again, special order for one of those moms working on, oh, Diane says they're great to travel with. I bet that is true because if you are like a weekend warrior and you're on the road, maybe you're in the camper, um, I am sure that, you know, space is limited, what you can take and you don't want to take, you know, big die cut machines, sometimes all that crazy stuff. So you can still, you know, travel and craft and shoot. You know, if you're the writer, you could just sit there, you know, on the road and punch these little shapes out while you're driving. Give yourself something to do rather than just, you know, scrolling through Facebook and social media, except whenever Facebook time with Hannah. So then, you know, still, you know, put, put your punches down then and, you know, check out what we've got, but definitely gives you other things that you can do while you're traveling. So this is the New York paper kit. This one here is spoken for, but if you had a trip to New York as well and you need some New York paper, I can get in a collection kit for you. All right, we're going to go around, ignore my messiness. That is stuff I need to take care of. Next up, 
Um, this is a little bit of an older simple storyline, but this was the life captured line. We still have some of the embellishments left and we needed more paper. So this is a fun one. It does break the kit, or sorry, the line into months, but the backgrounds are very neutral and a lot of the pages have pieces that are neutral, meaning it doesn't have to be January. So here is the sticker sheet. Diane, um, you want one, do you mean the New York kit? Sorry, I just saw one that came up. Or did you want one of the card kits? So just let me know which one you were meaning whenever you said I want one. I didn't, I couldn't tell where it popped up because we've got a little bit of the time lag between when I say it and whenever you guys comment and I see it. I think we've got almost like a 45 second lag there. All right, so life captured stickers. And then we're gonna go through the paper. So like this is the back of the December. Here is December, but again, none of this is December-ish. This one is, of course. This one is. So all of, you know, if you didn't want it to be like a monthly line, it does not have to be. Second card kit that I showed, perfect. That's the My Story one. You've got it. I'm going to pull it right now so we know which one. Thank you, my friend. So the colors are just really, really pretty, and you could use this for other things. You could do, uh, you know, little perpetual calendars with those, or just use it for the other side if you're worried about that little bit of waste. Here is November's page. So again, like I said, very little of this line has to go with the month that it says. Just a really cute line. Ooh, that one's really fun. The colors are great. It is a fun one. This would be a really fun, um, like for girls trip. The colors are nice and bright. If you have teenagers that you scrapbook for, this would be a good one for a teenage girl. Just really fun colors. Not too babyish either. I'll just kind of flip those real quick. I think you guys get the get the point there. So just because it is a kind of documented line doesn't mean that it has to be used that way at all. Okay, moving on. Uh, 49 in market, bunch more reorders from that. As you can tell, that's probably one of our biggest sellers right now because we or constantly showing that in the lives as we restock what sells out. So this is Tranquility. This was one of the more recent lines. And this one here is the Colored Foundations. Colored Foundation packs are back in. This one here, um, I think this was like the, one of their fall lines last year, but still this little six by eight sells so, so well. And this is Vintage Artistry Countryside. And it does not necessarily have to be just country-ish. And we flipped through this before and looked at where, for me, the I, I'm not a big chicken fan. Um, sometimes I am, depending on what it is. But, you know, a lot of times I don't need a chicken on my paper. Um, so these roosters and chickens, the way they are placed in here, very, very easy to cover them up or flip it over and the back sides are beautiful as well. So don't let this little rooster here turn you off by any means. If you love roosters, then this definitely you're going to love this pack. But if you are not a, a, a chicken lady, um, do not worry about that. The pages in here, here's a little better. The pages in here, see a lot of them don't even have any of that on there. So there's one on this one, but that can easily be covered or that one easily can be covered. And this is the six by eight pad. More six by eight pads. This one here goes with the toast collection. The toast is such a pretty, pretty line. There is the full size sheets of the toast. Let me give you a little idea there. Inkwell, I think this is the first one that has hit the shelf in forever. This was one of the lines that we used in our 
March kit club kit. So everyone's that we had gotten in and then reordered had already been snagged because the kit club people kept snagging that kit. Um, we are now out. I don't think I can do any more kits for the kit club. I will look and see in case anyone was still wanting one of those. I might be able to do one more, not for sure. Um, and then we will have kits again in May. That'll be our next kit. Reorder here. This is one of the words to the rescue. It's the sympathy one. So you've got little sentiments like um, a tearful goodbye to a special human being, holding you close in our prayers during your time of sorrow. Uh, many caring thoughts are with you. May you be comforted. Comforted. May yeah. May you may you be blanketed. May you be comforted in the light of love. In fond remembrance, I'm so sorry, and your heart has been broken in the most painful way. So really pr pretty, beautiful sympathy set there. Uh, this one here, I think we got these in the other day, but not all of them shipped. So this is just a little extra one that got shipped in this order to uh, make our minimum of what we ordered. So again, these are the little punch out. So this is going to be layer number one that you'll punch out and then you also punch out layer two three and four and then you use little pop dots to stack those up and then you end up with a beautiful three-dimensional um, die cut that you can use on a scrap of page card or tag home decor whatever you want uh, this one here nice new this is um, a really heavyweight smooth and the color is called Easter grass we needed a new green over there so really, really pretty green. This is also by Basil. It's one of the smoothie lime. And like I said, it's, it's a really nice heavyweight one. And then these just came in. So these are stinking cute. So, so fun. These are little journaling notebooks. And I am a sucker for a good notebook. Um, so talking a little bit about this notebook. It's spiral bound. It's got a cute little craft cover that you can leave as is or because it's craft, it's going to be easy to cover, embellish, do whatever you want with. And then this one here on the inside is blank. I think, nope, no, it's not. This one here is the dot grid one that I've got. Yep, this is the dot grid one. So as you can see here, you've got these great little dot grid pages. I love a dot. I'm a sucker for a dot notebook. So dot notebook here. Let's see, artist quality paper, 100% recycled cover, 90 GSM paper, perfect for everyday journaling, recipe book, note taking, uh, trial, travel diary, alterable cover, paint it, personalize it. Okay, it's got also a little band here to keep it closed. And the best part about it, your price is $5.29. So super, super economical as well. Then the other one that we've got in, exact same thing, but this one is a plain one. So this one will be, you know, really good if you're wanting to do kind of like a little mixed media journal. Maybe you want to catalog your stamps. Maybe you want to catalog your ink colors. I don't know. So this will be, you know, a fun little one for that as well, too. And again, that same $5 price point. So really, really decent prices on those, not a $9, $10 little notebook there. And they are an A5 size, okay? All right, that, friends, is all the new stuff. But let's, I'm going to give you a little teaser, what we're already putting out on the table for tomorrow. So fun stuff coming up for tomorrow already. And then let's go over to the wall, and we're going to check out um, how you do those little pink fresh stamp, stencil, washi tape, and dye combinations. Okay, so this is our pink fresh area. We do try to keep um, them kind of together, but I keep ordering so much pink fresh, it's, it's getting a little, little crowded over here. Um, but here we go. So this is one here that we did you can see it's got the washi tape and already cut out so i'm going to go kind of up here so this is our little how-to board 
So pink fresh washi, easily cut out washi tape for quick cards and scrap a page embellishments. Each roll of washi has probably about 40 strips on it. So first you're gonna attach that strip to a piece of white paper or colored. Here we have it on colored. Then you're going to die cut it out and then you end up with all these great little embellishments. Here is one strip that we used for that little card there. And then these were extras that were used to make another card. Here's the same washi, but we put this one on kind of a craft. There we go, I think I'm back. I uh, got a little low battery notification. So this one here was like on a craft color piece of paper. Um, and then once we cut them out, you have these beautiful little embellishments. So super, super cool. Now this one here, I'm gonna go over. This is an older one, but this is one where I just used the stencil. I didn't stamp it on top or anything like that on that one. Um, it does make a really pretty card. So Monica says she loves the Pink Fresh Washi, makes a really pretty card. They're so, so easy. So here is one just stenciled. Okay, and then I had another one out here as well. I don't see it though. I've got this one here. Oh, here is one. It doesn't have the washi, but this is one that is a stamp stencil die combination. So here it is with it stenciled, stamped, and then die cut out. So that's your other option with those. Same thing with this one here. These flowers were a stamp, stencil, and die cut option. So that was how I did those. So um, you can use the stamp. Let's see here. Like, let me show you here. So again, you can use the stamp and then stencil it and die cut it out. You can do the washi and the die cut together. Um, you can stamp it and not cut it out, maybe fussy cut it, but the only one you really cannot, um, if you would just buy it all on its own, it would be the die. Because you can just stencil, you can just stamp and stencil, you can just stencil and die cut. You can just buy the washi tape and the die. But hopefully, hopefully I know somebody earlier had a question with that, so hopefully that kind of answers how to use those little four part combo sets. So, all right. I think that's it, everybody. So, um, things coming up tomorrow. So, tomorrow, Lawn Fawn is doing an exciting little promotion with independent retailers. Okay. This is not for dot coms or anything like that. And actually, they are only working with Air and Crafters Home Stores as well. So, not every independent will have these either. So, we are an Air store, so we will have them. So, wait for Lawn Fawn's announcement tomorrow and just know that your store, the Doodlebug, is going to have them. So, that is super exciting for tomorrow. So, we've got to wait for Lawn on fawn to announce that but um i'm just really excited that they are doing that anything that the bigger manufacturers can do to help the smaller stores appreciate that so much um and so kelly was great um and so we've got a fun little announcement tomorrow so i know they're going to be doing lots of advertising for us which was great we had to turn in like all kinds of marketing stuff so i'm really excited to see what they do with that and how they promote us so all right, I think I think that is it, friends. So until next time, I'm Hannah from the Doodlebug in Jasper, Indiana. You can always shop us online at www.thedoodlebuginc.com. I think even too um, somewhere on here, it gave me an option to put a link in a shopping link. So that was something new. There's always a new little bell or whistle whenever I go on to a Facebook Live, a new little feature that they have, which is impossible to keep up with. But, um, so I don't know if you can click somewhere, it'll take you right to the online store, maybe. Who knows if I did it right or not. So, but anyway, tomorrow we will have more fun new stuff. Like I said, I placed three orders today. I did um, Lawn Fawn pre-order, that won't be until May. I did Tailored Expressions new stuff that just dropped. Oh, beautiful so so pretty so check that out um we've got all that coming and then i did one other order today too 
I don't remember what that was, but yeah, I've got three orders done today. So fun new stuff. We'll just keep rolling on in. All right, everybody. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. If you saw anything that you liked or you, you're watching this on the replay, you can always comment. I try to go back and answer questions. Um, or if you are tagging items that you wanted, we will hit you with a got it back. That way you know that we've got your items pulled and held for you. All right, you guys have a great day and we'll talk tomorrow. Okay, bye.